Hey everybody, we're down at the Imagination Station. Carl's already instructed me to put on the safety glasses and he's already uh, firing up the flames here. What are we doing today? We're gonna talk about combustion. Okay, okay. one of your favorites. Three things you need for combustion at right. the most basic level. You need fuel, you need flame, and you need oxygen. Check, check, check. Okay, quick example, go ahead and light that balloon on oh, fire over boy. there. Balloon is filled with hydrogen gas. Bring it really close, down below. Oh no. Oh! Okay, perfect. I don't like that I one. Know, I know. Okay. But but it's good to see what we're talking about. We're talking about combustion, yeah. right? It's the three things, things you need. Things that go boom, got now, it. If, now that was a gas, right? Now, sure. this summertime, if you're outside trying to light uh, a campfire or something like that, mm -hmm. you're not dealing with gases per se, you're dealing with like solid stuff. And one of the things, besides those three things, fuel, flame, and oxygen, mm -hmm. surface area plays an important role in how you can get something to combust. Okay, a little bit of All math right. here, a little bit of math. Okay. Come over closer. Just a little so I've, bit. I've got um, some blocks here. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. So this face has an area of four, okay. and there are six tides. Six times four is? 24. 24. Now, think of this as a block of wood that I'm trying to light on fire. If I were to break it up, okay? Sure. Now I've got eight blocks. Mm -hmm. Each block has six sides. Six times eight is? 48. 48. We've doubled the surface area just by making a cut on each face. Really? See, I would think initially, oh, maybe it's easier. Well, well yeah, it all comes down okay. to that surface area, whether it's chemical reactions, whether you're throwing Alka-Seltzer in water, if you crumble up that tablet as a powder and throw it in water, it fizzes dramatically. Sure. So the single tablet in, it's kind of plot, plot, fizz, kind of a, fizz. Yeah, okay. A little slower. So surface area plays a big role, and I can show you a, sort of a dramatic example of that with this container of really fine powder. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna take this teeny tiny little um, torch here, or lighter, and uh -huh. we'll just spray a little in there. Oh. Wow. All right, so step, step aside for oh, just a second, okay. let me show you. Wow, so, you're powder. lighting like the line on fire. Right. The powder actually continues to combust even after it leaves that ignition source, okay? And it dr combusts so dramatically because it's so fine. Okay. It's a very, very fine powder. Now. So if you had a chunk of it, you're saying not yeah, necessarily exactly. oh, yeah. the same thing. Oh, perfect, we can do that, we can do that. Watch, if we take a chunk of it and we try to light it on fire, it doesn't do anything. Nothing? Right? Wow, you can't, okay. But maybe it toasts a little bit, but sure. it doesn't combust. Great question. Interesting. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that combustion that you saw with this powder, sure. and we're gonna put it inside a sealed container. Oh boy. Let me show you what we're gonna do. I've got a paint can here with a little gizmo on the side connected to a squirt bottle. The puffer? The puffer, Sure. exactly. All right. Inside, there's a funnel filled with that combustible powder. Oh, wow, okay. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna take a lighter, uh, not a lighter, a sparkler. This okay. is gonna be our ignition source. Yep, we I'm, see those all around right now. I'm gonna light this, I'm gonna drop it in there, I'm gonna put the lid on. You will be holding this, but don't squeeze it. Okay. Okay, because sure. you know what's gonna, okay. so don't, you know, don't squeeze it until I tell you, because I'm gonna hammer this thing down, and then we're gonna see what happens. Okay. When we contain that explosion in a sealed container. But first, let's put our safety, safety gear on, okay. because this could get kind of crazy. Per usual. Okay, so go ahead and pick up your, not that one, but this okay. one, yep. got it. We'll get our sparkler going. Okay. Don't squeeze. Not squeezing. I'm gonna put that in. Okay. And seal it up. Give it a squeeze. Big squeeze. Oh! oh there we go. Wow. All right. Okay. So you can see, once that combustion Ooh. happens inside the sealed container, Toasty. it heats up, heats up the air, the air expands, blows the lid off, giving more oxygen to the combustion and that's happening And you hammered inside. that down. That was a very, that had a lot of power to it. Yeah, yeah, let's do it again. Do we have time to do it again? Okay, let's yep, try. one more time. All right, so go ahead and get your squeeze bottle. And the role of the squeeze bottle is just to disperse that fine powder inside there. Okay. So do this, the ignition source in, put the lid on, tap that down gently. Squeeze it. Whoa, all right. Now that was, Whoa. That was cool, and that's why it's so unpredictable. Yep, mm -hmm. right? maybe I should keep this down. <clears throat> yeah, no, <clears throat> check this out. What happened was the lid blew off, mm -hmm. and then it fell back down, and then the air inside cooled a little bit, reducing the pressure, and the can began to crush. Yeah, you actually can see the power behind I've that. I've never because... seen that happen before. That is really cool. Must have the magical puffer touch. <laughs> yeah. Wow, very cool, and just shows the, the power behind the science that's happening every time you light something. Exactly, that surface area plays just as important role as fuel, flame, and oxygen. <laughs> All right. Well, Carl, you got my heart racing again on this Saturday morning. Thanks for joining us here at the Imagination Station. And remember, it is Saturday, so you can come down to the Imagination Station. Lucas County residents, paid adults, can get a child in free today. They're always doing cool stuff like this right here. And that's how you imagine it.